Okay, here we are back now after uh, making all these pieces. I cut this, uh, I cut this uh, six or eight inch piece down um, to about 18 inches. I figured that would give it a good firebox on the inside pipe. And um, as you can see, I put the legs on the bottom, like I said I was going to do. Half inch holes all along the bottom. Took the cap and on the top cut it out. As you can see, it turned out. Uh, Turned out pretty nice to cut. I used this tool called the Jilson cutter. It's made in France. I bought it a long time ago, but it's a nibbler. It's a hand nibbler. And it works excellent for cutting that out. It's certainly better than tin snips. So I screwed this piece to the bottom. And I made this piece. Also put the cap on the bottom here. And then this piece just slides inside here. Goes all the way down. And as you can see, the top holes are just below the surface, which will give good gasification. In case you didn't see the other one, put a couple holes in the middle, a few holes in the bottom. I use 3 8 holes here, and then I use 3 16 up here. Now, all I have to do is run a screw up from the bottom to anchor this down, and then from there, I can put on the reducer. And I figured that this should really concentrate the heat into the cap area um, when it goes up into the rain cap. So as you can see, that's going to work out real well. Just get it around here where it will be a little bit easier. Now these pieces you got to be real careful with, especially after you drill them, uh, that you fully deburr everything. Because if you don't, you're going to leave. <laughs> it's going to leave you with wounds that you won't soon forget. So get that all set up here. All i got to do is keep this pipe in. Which of course it's giving me a hard time. And my idea in this originally was to use uh, for the fuel to use pellets rather than uh, wood. Although there's nothing wrong with wood, pellets just might be easier for you to come up with and certainly uh, I think will burn longer. We're going to get a burn time on this. Okay, here we are there and we put the little cap on top. Now my eventual aim is to cut these rivets out, turn this piece upside down so that it could be a, uh, let me see if you can see that. Um, no, you can't. Okay. Uh, let me move it up a little bit. As you can see, the rain cap right there is splayed out this way. I wanted to turn it over in case you wanted to put a pot or anything up on top, maybe to, to heat water. Um, as we get a little bit closer here and I get it filled with fuel, we'll, uh, Give you an update on the burn time and uh, and um, see how it works out. Okay, back in a minute. 